Hello everybody. Today I'm just going to be playing in, well first this is my um, art journal that I made myself. It's made from hot pressed watercolor paper. I can't remember what the weight is. Um, but I just sewed it together and it's hot pressed so it has a smooth finish. I'm going to be playing with these deco art media sprays. I've played with them a little bit, um, but uh, there's just some neat stuff i got to show you with this. I don't think I'll really have like a masterpiece going on here. But what I got here is I had prepped this page previously for something else. Excuse me. Um, prepped this page previously for something else. So this side is gessoed and this side is not. And I thought it would be a nice way to show you how it reacts on different surfaces. So, like I said, this is watercolor paper without any gesso on it. And this is with gesso. Um, so, I'm just going to play around. I have a stencil here. It's the Americana Decor stencil, which I love because it's kind of like water. I don't know. So, I'll be playing with that along with the Deco Art Medias. I have Primary Magenta, Primary Yellow primary cyan and I got these because I wanted the primary colors of course and then I got this just because I love green this is the yellow green and then I got black or carbon black just for some fun and the thing that is neat about these is unlike the dilution sprays once these are dry these will not reactivate with water so you can layer color a little bit easier and you can truly use them without, with, as a background without having to put any kind of um, sealer or some people use hairspray um, just so you can work on top of it. So as much as I love my water solubles or my, the ones that reactivate with water because I like finding pictures, this is kind of neat because you can layer the color. And I'm just going to do a, a background. Um, so let's give it a go and of course I'll start with actually let's start out of my norm I'm just gonna go with some blue all over and this is kind of cool because depending on how you push it you go short you get thick you go long you get a finer mist Ooh, I should move my, phone. my laptop is right there you should see it it's covered with ink spray and I got gesso on there and like every once in a while I have to go back and clean it <laughs> so if you look the finer mist it dries pretty quick but as you see I left puddles here so you can see how it will the colors will mix where it's wet but where it's dry it will layer on top and you'll really see it once I throw the yellow on there I can't remember if they have a turquoise because I know I need it if I do. See, look at that. Isn't that neat? But if you do the full spray and get the mist, it's going to layer up really nice. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And I don't really see a difference too much other than um, on the gesso versus the non gesso, other than on this side, it seems to suck in. Um, oops, kind of dry brush. I got a dry brush. Let's see what happens. See, this seems to dry faster, and on the gesso, it seems to sit on top. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That blue is really dark. I do like the red down here. Try this out a little bit. And then over here, you see, I did the same amount on here, but because it's not gessoed, it sucks into the paper and it won't do that as well. And now, just for poo poos and giggles, let's just see what happens like this. You get a little bit of fun going on. I'm thinking on a gessoed surface, I would have thought about it. Do I have a water bottle? On a gessoed surface, we might be able to put some water on there and get the splatter on the 
spots that are wet. Get some lift. Maybe if I went to dry it first. There's a little bit. So if it's just so you can do that. Let's see. Not so much on the ungesso. That still is neat. And now I'm going to show you my favorite part of these. So I'll just lay this across, both of them. I'm going to take the black. All right. And it is black, but it is lovely. We'll give that a quick dry. And now, let's go in with the same stencil. I'm just gonna wonky it out a little bit. Let's go with the yellow. And you can go over the black. I don't know if it's fully dry, so we might get a little bit of late, but. I didn't get a full press on that, so the splatter is my issue. But look at that. With the other ones that reactivate with water, it's hard, to get, oh, it's hard to get a lighter color on top of a dark color. That is so funky cool. Oh, that is so neat. Let's try it again. Let's do it again. Let's try the red this time. I don't want it to be right in there. There we go. That is so cool. I'm gonna go in with the yellow again because I just like it. You know how I usually speed up my videos? This is the I talk to myself even when nobody's listening. So this is what you're missing when I make videos and put music over top. And if you hear me go, it's because I want to cuss, but I'm trying not to cuss anymore. <laughs> I am really liking the layers of color I get. I really do think the only difference with the gessoed surface and ungessoed is you have a little bit more playtime with it on a gessoed surface. That is so neat. Now, let's see. Should we go some green? Because I do love my green. Let's see what green does. And also, like me, I always throw color and color and color, and then you get mud. And I am so good at making mud. I swear, if I could put it on my resume, I would be like the mud aficionado of mixing color. Because... I have stacks of canvases that are unfinished, and most of them are because I kept them mixing and I ended up with mud. Yeah, I'm a mud aficionado. I should add that to my resume. And unless you're mixing wet on wet, you can't really get the mud. Oh my gosh. Look at that! How freaking awesome is that? All right, let's do one more thing of blue. That wasn't a cuss, that was just me making noises. That is so funky brush. I hope that's not like a copyright line or something. 
Hmm. Oh, I'm in love with these sprays. I'm gonna flip her over. Would that be too much? Let's go with some of the red. That is a neat, neat background. It's just a simple, what did I take, 15 minutes? Another thing that's awesome is once this is dry, I can go over it with paint and it won't reactivate that color. I won't get, I'll get clean, crisp color from my paint. Whereas the, del the delusions, the other ones, I do like them, but you have to expect and work with the fact that it's gonna reactivate and you're gonna get the color contamination from the water reactivation. Let me do a quick zoom in for you so you can check it out. This is the side without gesso. And this is the side with. So I think there's some crisper lines going on. And of course you got the, the paint stroke still showing through. But like I said, look at the layers of color. The Because it layers up so nice, you can't even see where I drug those colors down really before. Really, I love them. You should get them. Look at, let's see. Deco Art Media. And I do believe they come with um, some shimmery ones. I may have to, I want to stock up on these first because <laughs> I really do like them. So I'll get all these before I end up getting the shimmery ones. I don't do a lot of shimmer. I'm sparkly enough. <laughs> All right, hugs, kisses. Toodle doo.